Recently, when we hear about bats in the media, it's in the context of emerging infectious diseases. Yet the majority of bats that people encounter are healthy, despite their potential public health threats. Researchers and the public have become more aware that bats can carry zoonotic diseases. Zoonotic diseases can be transmitted from animals to people and have significant consequences for human health and the economy. Bats are extremely important to the health of our natural ecosystems. They're among the world's most abundant, diverse, and geographically dispersed mammals. Bats aid in seed dispersal, insect population control, and plant pollination. Sadly, many populations of bats are declining due to disease or habitat destruction. Many species are now threatened or endangered. One of the best ways to help protect bats and people is by learning more about bat behavior and ecology and recognizing the value of living safely with wildlife. The One Health approach highlights the interconnection among humans, animals, and the environment. It encourages experts from multiple disciplines to work together locally, nationally, and globally to help achieve the best health for all living things. Bats are interconnected to the health of natural ecosystems, the general public, and domestic and wild animals. Therefore, One Health Sciences are a crucial tool when tackling possible disease transmission from bats. Specifically, bats are a known reservoir of the rabies virus, which has a significant impact on human and animal health. Past public health efforts culled bat populations as a way to reduce rabies transmission to livestock and humans. Today, we know that killing bats is undesirable and may make bats more vulnerable to rabies and other diseases. Rabies is one of the oldest known zoonotic diseases. It infects the central nervous system of mammals, including humans, and causes inflammation within the brain. Virus transmission usually occurs when saliva from an infected animal is transferred to another animal or person through a bite or scratch. Once clinical symptoms appear, rabies is inevitably fatal. More than 59,000 people around the world die from rabies each year, mostly due to transmission from dogs. During the last 30 years, wildlife vaccination programs have grown in complexity in the United States as rabies in domestic dogs and cats has been virtually eliminated in the Americas, leaving wildlife such as skunks, raccoons, foxes, coyotes, mongoose, and bats as the primary source of the virus. Bat rabies is an emerging public health threat. It's currently one of the main sources of human rabies deaths in the Americas, causing one to two human deaths annually in the United States and Canada combined. Recently, vampire bats have been documented 35 miles south of the Texas border, likely as a result of range expansion due to changes in global temperatures. If vampire bats eventually expand into the United States, they could potentially harm livestock and other mammals by transmitting rabies. Vampire bats are common throughout Central and South America. They feed on the blood of wildlife, livestock, and sometimes people. Often people who have died from bat rabies in the Americas were unaware that they were even bitten by a bat. To better understand the potential risks of rabies associated with vampire bats, experts from agencies like USDA Wildlife Services are working to educate the public, survey bat populations, and monitor livestock in the southern United States. Everyone, especially children, should keep a safe distance from a bat or any wildlife to avoid potential harm. If you think you may have been exposed to an infected animal, please immediately contact your local health care provider. Most rabies deaths in the Americas occur because people aren't familiar with the potential for animals, like bats, to carry zoonotic diseases. If we are going to successfully manage rabies and novel bat viruses, we need to better understand how the virus affects bats and their populations. This means recognizing the interconnection between people, animals, and our shared environment. Only then will we be able to better understand how to prevent outbreaks and to control diseases before they become a problem.
You can protect yourself and your family by getting your pets and livestock vaccinated against rabies and enjoying wildlife from a healthy distance. For more information, please visit the following websites.